Now, recently I've been working on a course that involves some neurobiology, and I'm keeping things simple deliberately because I'm not a neurobiologist. I'm not a scientist. I'm an educator. I'm an ordinary person who's been everything from a shoemaker to a, a junior social counselor to a salesperson and more. One of the things that I've learned recently is that our brains stay focused on the negative stuff that keeps us sometimes behaving like jerks or having a difficult time with life because our brains are here to keep us alive. That's what they're here to do. And we literally need to install the good so that we can begin to build up a reservoir that balances out the negative stuff that we focus on because it keeps us aware of the fact that it might happen again and we don't want that. So installing the good is one of those tools that becomes very important, especially when you're managing what we call vicarious or secondary trauma, the stuff we get through exposure. Now, if you happen to be in the helping professions, and you might be a teacher or a nurse or a doctor or a firefighter or an EMT or a social worker or a therapist, any of the helping professions, and you could even be a clergy person, Paying attention to your exposure to other people's stuff is just as important as paying attention to your own stuff because that exposure, that secondary exposure, or that vicarious trauma can really make it hard to be who you know you are underneath the things you've seen and heard and experienced.